What's up, beautiful people? Guys. We just want to hop on here and just check in with you guys, kind of answer some of your questions that you've been sending us a lot lately. Sort of kind of see these recurring questions over and over again and figured, yeah. let's just make a video, answer a bunch of your questions, and uh, yeah. yeah. Just so, check in a little bit with you, a little family yeah. update. Yeah, it's a beautiful day here in Nashville. It's the first day it hasn't rained in weeks, and we well, get that's an extra an day of sunlight today. It's felt of, like weeks of like, rain. Well, we It's like we'll have like three or four days of rain and then like one nice day, we get all excited it and is. then it goes back to like yeah. rain and we're like no but i think we're gonna have like five days of sun in a row and now yeah. it gets dark at like seven so that's like yes I'm so excited i'm ready for the longer warmer days and i know the kids are too so we've been yeah. trying to spend time outside as much as we possibly can yeah. when there's good weather and i'm um, looking forward to more of that for sure. but today we're just going to catch up with you guys a little bit and I'm gonna jump out the gate with um, one of the questions that's a big one that a lot of people have been asking or like commenting on videos and photos and analyzing um, <laughs> yeah. on a few of those where I'm just like, what? Um, yeah. But a lot of you guys are asking um, about our plans to have another baby and that's... what we are... <laughs> <laughs> if I'm pregnant, That's um, the if I'm already I'm pregnant. pregnant, I can see, I can see, she's glowing. She's, yeah. You know. Sometimes, you know, it's though, so like funny. I it's feel the best intentions. I know. I I do feel like, for me, um, because someone was saying like, oh, she looks like she's like fuller, you know, has a fuller face or that the kind of like things that you see in pregnancy. Yeah. And for me, I think honestly, it's like I've been battling some health issues, really. Um, not, I wouldn't say severely, but there's just been these ongoing health challenges that have been really, really difficult yeah. to work through. And I've been trying really diligently to get to the bottom of that and to be helping to um, get my wellness back, if that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. And so um, one of the big things for me that is a trigger uh, is stress. And so yeah. a lot of times if you see me looking extra like tired and puffy faced, it's um, stress just like really just kind of wrecks my body out and um, some of you guys might remember like way back like years ago I think I sat down and kind of talked about some of my um, health issues and I have a genetic abnormality called MTHFR where your body doesn't properly absorb um, B vitamins and so that can lead to a lot of problems including um, you know um, miscarriages um, including just like low immune system it actually puts you at a higher risk for a lot of health things even like heart attacks and strokes and things if you're not managing it well so i take some really great supplements for that and i'm trying to uh, especially in this season we're really trying to like reduce stress and just kind of have a slower pace and like allow my body to heal some because the past few years if you guys have watched us have been incredibly stressful yeah. and i feel like my um way of managing that is to just kind of like be like it's fine it's fine let's get through it and you just yeah. especially as a mom like you just do what you have to do right yeah. and so I think that my health kind of took a back seat for a long time as I was managing all these other things and, and this th past six months has really taken the cake I mm. think for like most stressful particularly last fall yeah. you guys saw some of that with Lincoln as you know that was so difficult yeah. and for a long time I just kept telling myself like I'm fine I'm fine um, and then you get to a point where you realize I'm not fine and like my health is really struggling and I'm not doing okay and so I have been meeting with a doctor she was running a lot of different panels and labs and various things to try to see where I might be um, struggling health wise and so I do feel like I found some good answers and I um, am taking some really great supplements that are going to be helping to level my hormones and manage um, some of these symptoms that have just been kind of difficult for me. So I'm feeling a lot better more recently, uh, but it, it has been like a big challenge. And um, there have actually been a few months because we have been saying that we have, would welcome another child into our family. Um, and there have been a few times where I really suspected that maybe I was pregnant and um, and took a pregnancy test a few times um, when I was like well past the time where I should have started my period. And um, I would get like a very faint line. And so then I would retest a couple of days later and it would be gone. And so I'd, I've kind of had the suspicion that maybe I have gotten pregnant a few times and then I'm just miscarrying really early. 
Um, so that's another question for my doctor to kind of get through, you know, figure out what's going on there. Um, so that's just kind of where we are on that. Um, I'm just really trying to hold loosely to um, any plans that we would have. Obviously, like you can dream in your mind, like this is exactly what I would do and you can't really control life, right? And so I really do feel a lot of peace that what's meant to be will happen. Um, it's still emotional, it's still hard because you hope for certain things right. and you kind of get your hopes up a little bit and then you're like, oh no, that's not what's happening. So. Um, you guys could pray for us if you want to on that. I do feel like, like I said, a lot of peace. Um, and, and I know that the Lord's in control there, but especially for my health as I just continue on that journey to try to um, regain that. <laughs> and, and honestly, these past three or four months, like we have just been so purposeful, like I said, to slow down and to um, just get into a healthier rhythm that just allows space to just kind of I don't know, um, thrive and not feel like you're rushed and you're stressed all the time and all of that. It takes a lot of intentionality to actually do that because for a long time we've lived at a really fast pace and you've got seven kids and all these yeah. things going on. And so um, that was a, a big shift for us, but I feel like we've really kind of gotten into a groove where there's so many moments where I'm able to just kind of pause and look around and I'm just like, this feels good like I feel like we are just in a really healthy space um, as far as that goes I know that was a, a really long answer but that's just kind of been a big one for us and a big one for me particularly um, these past few months and so and if you like me look at her and you think she's just getting more and more beautiful every single day oh and my gosh you don't have any clue what she's talking about Welcome to the club, guys, because That's I feel like she's just here. absolutely stunning and just gets more and more stunning. And I think it's just it's hard. I, it's hard for women. I'm a women. very lucky man. Very, very blessed. You're very kind. <laughs> it's hard for women sometimes, to, especially yeah. like to notice changes or to just kind of go through different seasons of life. And like you just, you want to feel your best. You want to feel healthy. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's, yeah. that's, what, that's where we're at. Yeah. Um, but so that was a big one. A lot of you guys have been commenting yeah. or asking or saying that you're praying for us. So we do appreciate that. We appreciate yeah. the encouragement. Yeah. Um, a lot of you guys are asking about the kids, how they're doing. And yeah. um, they're all doing well. They've all got various things that they're up to. So we can kind of give like a little yeah. update on each of them. It's like run it down the line. Yeah. yeah. We can just kind of go oldest to youngest maybe. And yeah. uh, start with Reese. And so Reese is yeah. doing really well. She is very busy and she yes. has um, a few different jobs that she's doing. She's just thriving in. She is a certified yoga teacher and is really doing so well there and we're really, really proud she's of her. She's so good. Very naturally, very good she's and so just good. so kind and just is, has a way yeah. of connecting with people yeah. and building them up and encouraging them and it's yeah. just been really cool to see that. It really like, keeps Jesus at the center of it all and mm -hmm. it's like so cool and she yeah. also has a new horse named Blue Jean yeah. who is so such a cute horse. Mm -hmm. Like, really, uh, really. Horses. So the horse is over in East Tennessee with my parents, and yeah. so she will go every couple of weekends over there and sometimes take some of her siblings and spend some time with um, her grandparents and ride the horse. Yeah. Although I know my parents are uh, looking to move closer here, yeah. and so we're really excited about when that happens. Just getting them all here, man. Yeah. And Everybody's so, moving here. Yeah, yeah. So that, that's going to be really fun. Um, Reese also does social media management for companies, and she's yeah. really good at it. She's so good. Um, she's had experience with social media, yeah. and so she um, you know, has chosen to be kind of behind the camera on the other side of it, mm -hmm. um, just helping create content for other yeah. uh, brands, and so she's really good with that. She is, um, yeah. so We're really proud of her. Yeah. And then Kira is rocking and rolling. Actually, let's start with... I was going to say, if we're going oldest, youngest, yeah, Penelope's Penny. technically I'm older. I'm still, like, yeah, I still sometimes think... In, in the opposite because because for the longest like, time yeah, it was Reese and Kira before the yeah. other kids came so Penny yeah. senior in high school killing it crushing it all yes, the way yes she is and uh, loving working at Panda Express and she's like doing very well she's a boss she's a very yeah. hard worker and she loves it too yeah um, sometimes we're, we tell her we're like you don't have to work so hard and she, <laughs> she just she has a really great work ethic yeah. and she's trying to save up money for her own car because um, yeah. she has her license and so that's a big one she's also saving up money to go back to China after she yeah. graduates and have a little bit of an extended time there and yeah so she kind of wants to spend like I think you can go 60 days without having to like 
get a yeah. longer visa, just on a tourist visa. So, so right. she'll probably go back after she graduates and has all of her surgeries and all of that for like a couple of months, which yeah. would be really cool for her to get to go do. She's very much looking forward to that. And a couple of us might go too for yeah. like the first part of that and then leave her there for a little yeah. bit and then come yeah. back for her. Um, but, I want to go yeah. just so I can immerse myself in the language because I've been trying to learn Mandarin yeah. for over, well, gosh, I mean, I started trying to learn when she first came home from China, but I've been like been doing well. really aggressively practicing every single day for almost three years now. He's doing so. very well. I'm so proud of you, babe. It's a lot, but I can't, I'll never get it unless I like fully immerse myself in it. So it would be cool to spend like a few weeks there. And just that would be very cool. Force myself into it. And she does have that surgery, another surgery coming up, probably yeah. the beginning of summer. The timeline keeps kind of changing based on how she's healing and we're yeah. working with the orthodontist and the cleft palate team yeah. and just various doctors and they're all kind of coordinating yeah. there. So we're kind of waiting to see on that. But she will be graduating this year and so will Kira. So will Kira, who has a new yeah. job as well. Yeah. She's loving it. She's kind of like running the place, which is super cool. Yeah. And she gets crazy good tips and is having such a blast she's like yeah just with tips alone i could buy a sweet car like so she's yeah. also trying to save up to buy a car which is amazing i'm i just love seeing how well she's thriving right now yeah. like she's found um she's found a job that she loves and like you said she's doing really yeah. well with that she is an online student she's graduating this year as well so both yeah. kira and penelope will uh, graduate in May, yeah. and then all three of our girls will be out of school. It's crazy, um, dude. Which is bittersweet. I'm so excited for them, and um, but at the same time, like just how quickly our kids are growing up, yeah. it's just, oh, it's heartbreaking. Yeah. So, yeah. But we are planning a really fun um, graduation trip for the yeah, girls, and we're going to um, take Reese as well because we didn't really do a trip when she graduated. Yeah. So we're gonna just kind of combine it all, and I think my mom's gonna come too. We're gonna we're still debating on what we want to do. Maybe go on a cruise, uh, but something really really special for all of the girls. Yeah. So we're looking forward to that probably Super. in May or June as well. Love it. So, yeah, the, yeah, the girls are all doing really well. And um, then Jude is going to be graduating next year. Yeah. And he's doing really well. He's doing online school. He's working at Chick-fil-A and loves it so much. He has a lot of he's great like friends there. Employee of the month, man. He's so good. He really loves it. He yeah. really, really does. And also something that we've been talking about the past couple months is he's really interested in um, possibly going into the Navy once he graduates. He's like, Dad, I and, want you to start training me. I want to start lifting some weights. I want to get big because I want to be a Navy <laughs> SEAL. I'm like, yeah. let's, bro, let's go, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's a lot, but you can do it. Yeah, but he's really looking into that. My dad's kind of been helping as well, and we're just um, we're exploring that option. Yeah. So I'm really proud of him. I think he would do really well. Part of me as a mom doesn't want to like let yeah. him go and yeah. like just I don't know I want to keep my babies yeah. close yeah. but I know that I can't do that forever yeah. and so um, I'm, I'm excited for him as he's kind of contemplating the future as well he's also saving up for a car yeah. all of our kids have great jobs and they're they like much better than us when we were like their <laughs> age I'm yeah. like really proud of them yeah they're responsible um, and they're they're just great kids so yeah very very proud of them um, so a couple of them will probably be buying buying cars in the next uh, few months yeah so that, yep. that's exciting yeah pretty awesome yeah yeah then Liam has been uh, it's been an interesting season for Liam he yeah has, a lot uh, of you guys have been messaging and just kind of seeing that he's not really been um, in the videos as much lately and so we did want to kind of um, just talk briefly about that yeah. um, but we just want to be very careful uh, you guys know we really, really value um, prioritizing our kids' uh, privacy, and so uh, teenagers they they go through you know the full range of I mean, you guys all know what it's like to be a teenager, and so there's some highs and there's some lows, and um, so with Liam we just are really wanting to uh, kind of um, protect that privacy as we kind of walk through some things um, you guys know we love him so much and yeah. we want to do everything we can to support him and encourage him yeah. and help him um, with the right resources to kind of navigate some um, challenges and some bigger things and I don't feel like it's really our place to say much more than that um, but I know a lot of you guys have been reaching out and just saying hey where's Liam we love him we're praying for him yeah. and so we really appreciate that and I know he appreciates it yeah. as well um, and just know that um, yeah we, we we are working behind the scenes on stuff that we're not gonna really show but um, he's doing well and we're gonna just continue 
uh, continue on that path. So yeah. thank you for loving him and praying for him and all of that. And yeah. uh, it really means yeah. the world, like so much. So. Yeah, yeah. And then Ethan is doing well. He's in fourth grade, and he actually came home the other day and he said he wants to homeschool next year. Yeah. Uh, and I was like, are you sure? Because he's a social kid and he gets yeah. along so well with his peers and he loves his teachers and he keeps getting awards at school for just being like such a kind kid to yeah. all of his peers. And so, um, but he's really adamant. He's like, I really do. And so I'm kind of excited again because, um, you know, we homeschooled most of our kids through their younger years. Yeah. and. I've missed that uh, in these recent years, and so I'm kind of excited that he he wants to do this, and so I'm kind of dreaming up how to how to do that again. And he wants to um, join a soccer team and probably do some piano lessons, which mm -hmm. I grew up playing classical piano, so I might just teach some of the kids, or we might bring in an instructor. But um, but he's excited about that. Yeah. I think there's going to be some changes for him this coming year, yeah. and uh, so we'll just kind of see how that plays out. But and selfishly, we're yeah. pretty pretty excited. He's such a sweetie. I just, yeah. I don't know. I, I, cause part of me is like, he's just doing so well in school. Yeah. Um, but I also would love to homeschool him. So, yeah. um, we'll just kind of test it out. That's what, what we've done with all the other kids is yeah. just kind of taking it a year at a time and kind of test it out, like what they're thinking and where they're thriving and just kind of go that that way yeah so. I think we'd do the online academy for him probably so he still has the structure mm -hmm. he still has the instructors yeah he just also has the freedom and gets to be home which really does help. And, and doing like we would always go on um, field trips and things and yeah. I loved being able to do that while homeschooling the kids and so um, it's been tougher with it split up you know with some of our kids in public some of our kids in private we haven't been able to do yeah. field trip Friday as much as we were able to for yeah. so long yeah we used so, to do that every Friday and every oh gosh Friday. it was so fun yeah um, but we do actually have a really fun trip coming up um, soon for spring break and yeah. we're going to be going to a place that I really, for a couple of years now, a few years, wanted to take the kids to yeah. for like a field trip kind of thing. Um, and we're finally doing it. Yeah. So that's going to be, um, so we'll, we'll have that in a, a vlog. Exciting. Yeah. In one we, of these it'll be like going to school. Years. Like. <laughs> yeah, part of it. Really part cool. of it will be. Yeah, but it's. Very, I'm very excited for that. Yeah. Um, and then Lincoln's doing great. He Lincoln is, is thriving. We have seen no health issues, thankfully, yeah, thank and God. he's just, it seems like he's back to himself. Um, he is loving school. He's, you know, just such a happy kid. He loves everything that he does. He's literally the happiest kid I've yeah, known. Yeah. Um, I mean, he has his moments for sure. Um, he's he's a, an opinionated child for sure. <laughs> he loves to tell you what he loves yeah. and what he doesn't love. But, um, but he's, yeah, he's doing well. He's just a happy kid and... Uh, He's doing well with his therapies as well. Um, the uh, the the one challenge that we still have is he's on his seizure meds, and so um, just kind of managing that, and that's really bittersweet for me because I know there are there are side effects to to the medications, mm -hmm. and one of those is um, kind of regressing in language, and you guys yeah. have known that that he's. Um, He's not talked as much in the past couple of years yeah. as they've had to kind of increase those meds a couple of times to make sure that those seizures aren't coming through. Yeah. And as much as I don't love that, I um, really don't love the seizures. And so yeah. I'm grateful that we have something that controls them well. And so I'm, I'm just, yeah, I'm grateful for that. Um, and yeah. we're going to continue to work on therapies and speech therapy and um, various communication devices. There are certain things he just really doesn't respond to. Um, yeah. Sign language is one of those. We really tried that for a while, and a speech therapist did too. So um, we'll just keep working at it. Uh, but we just love him to pieces, and we're just grateful for the joy that he brings to our lives. Yeah. So. That's um, that's where all of our kids are right now. I had a couple more things written down, just various things that had popped up. Um, people had mentioned about Stephen's dad. He does he, live here now. Yeah. He moved here the middle of last year, late last year. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, we were just kind of not talking about it for a while because he needed to work a few things out. Yeah, make and, sure he uh, was going to really land here and all yeah, of that. But yeah. we just got him a house that we'll be closing on later on this month. and. So we're pretty pumped about it. I'm so. glad the kids get to like see him more because yeah. um, he was out in California. So that was yeah. fun for us to go take trips, but we didn't get to see him very often. Because yeah. so. he moved to California and he, he moved to California right after Kira was born. Yeah. So like we, we saw him like 
maybe twice in a decade. Like it was not a lot. And now we get to see him yeah. all the time. Which like, he's yeah. helping us with the, the farm, kind of building out our homestead here. Mm -hmm. And you know, he got to help build the greenhouse with the chicken coop we're getting ready to start working on with our barn, mm -hmm. which he's turning into his little wood shop and he can make his wooden toys yeah. here. That'll be like the new studio for him. You need to like link his website because you guys, yeah. he has so many awesome products that you guys can actually yeah. purchase, including yeah. like really beautiful wooden yeah. baby toys and things yeah. um, highly recommend yeah. he's made so many for our kids that they yeah. absolutely loved yeah. there was like this little wooden um, camera that the kids played yeah. with for the longest time yeah. and it had like a little dial that would turn it was so cool yeah. um, but he's very very talented so uh, and you'll see him on and off because he's going back and forth to the Philippines right now mm. which is pretty cool and one of these days we'll go with him and that uh, would be very cool it'll yeah. be awesome but we he's, can share he's more about time that. we'll, yeah. we'll there's some cool stuff on the horizon with that as well. So yes, very we'll much. We'll share it whenever the time is right for that. But I did yeah. ask him for permission to share that. And he said, oh, yeah, your oh. Filipino following is going to love that. And I was like, they are going to love that. So We've never been to the Philippines, so that would yeah. be very, very cool to he be able gave to take us, the family. Yeah. He gave us a bunch of shirts uh, mm -hmm. that he brought back last time. Yeah. So. It's yeah, cool. that's exciting. Pretty cool. Very exciting. Yeah. Um, and then real estate. Uh, I know we have talked about this a bunch, but just very, very quickly, Stephen's doing really well with real estate. Yeah. Thriving has closed on multiple homes recently. I'm so proud of you and how hard you're working yeah. on that. And he's just a natural. You guys know he's like Mr. Extrovert. So <laughs> this has just been a very natural fit for yeah. you. Yeah. I'm having a lot of fun, and just the the like the level at which you get to help people and that's really what it is for me is just getting to like help people in a really crucial crossroads in their lives to make a wise decision and hmm. help them guide guide them through that and so many people are moving here like today right. i met people from michigan and seattle and uh new york and like all hmm. over who are all moving to nashville and it's just cool to get to like pray with them and talk with them and you know encourage them and yeah. it's a lot of fun and he's doing a lot of open houses and so a lot of times if that's on Sunday afternoon we'll leave church and then the kids and I will go over and help him it set up fun. and yeah. just kind of see what he's doing and so it's kind of like a family effort a little it bit. It is pretty cool. I still bring the kids away before the open house starts just so that it can kind of be more professional. I, I'm but... kind of planting that seed a little bit too with that because I'd love some of the kids to become real estate agents as well and be on my team <laughs> and then we can kind of make it a big family empire. <laughs> <laughs> a family empire. We're going to take family, over Nashville. Real estate empire of Nashville would be super that fun. Be fun. That'd be cool. That'd I could see cool. some of the kids yeah. maybe getting into that as they get older. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be cool. That'd be fun. Um, and then, yeah, the the stuff that we're working on right now around the house is, um, you guys know, we built the um, greenhouse. And then this weekend, um, Stephen's dad's going to help us. We ha actually have a bunch of trees that we ordered. They're going to yeah. be delivered in a few days. And we're going to um, kind of put those like a little tree line to just give a little bit more privacy in between us and our neighbors. Um, yeah. And so that's going to I think they're going to be really beautiful. Yeah. What are they called? Like evergreen. They're not evergreen. They're not technically evergreens, but yeah. they're, they're going to grow very tall and yeah. lush and and that is going to kind of line the side of our garden and then we're going to do an expanded fence with some yeah. raised garden beds and last week I, I placed the order for a lot of plants that I'm very excited yeah. about and the kids picked a few out so we're going to have blackberries and raspberries and strawberries and um we have like tomatoes, a patio tomatoes and little peaches, baby peppers lemons a little lemon a lemon bush that can like it could technically stay in a pot yeah. um i think because the lemon and the peach tree will probably stay in a pot because they are a little bit more compact and then in the cold weather we can take them inside because they said like for our zone they do okay but if it gets like really cold we can bring yeah. them inside yeah. um but i know that lemon trees are not great to be around cats so they are going to probably stay outside or be in the greenhouse or somewhere away so that we can keep our pets um safe and so I'm just very excited. Pretty cool. I know there's more bush or more plants that we have actually ordered, but that's like the bulk of them. And I'm I am very excited to kind of it goes along with this whole like slower pace of life and just kind of working with your own hands and building things and growing your own food and Reese makes sourdough bread all the time and that's delicious. And Doomsday and prepping a little bit, you know. Not really, but um, but just kind of you know We're having right. your own little homestead no. where 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 you're able to like just grow things yourself and yeah. make things yourself and all of that like it takes some intentionality and slowing down a little bit, but I love it. I'm I am truly loving it, and so yeah. 
that's where we are and we appreciate you guys also being just yeah. so understanding about us slowing down on social media as well it's just been that was a hard decision to make but it's been the right one for our family yeah. and so um, this month has been a little bit busier with videos so you guys have gotten a few extra ones but a lot of times yeah. it might just be a little bit slower and um, yeah just prioritizing you know being here in the moment and our health and all of that I just think is so important and so sometimes you have to make those decisions yep. and it is bittersweet because you love this one thing but you know to to go the direction you feel like you're supposed to go you kind of have to make some of those choices and so that's kind of what we've done but yeah. we love you guys so much uh, yeah. I, I really am so grateful for the way that you guys have continued to just encourage us and um, build us up and like it, this has just never been like a one-way kind of thing yeah where we create content and give it to you and that's it it's always felt like more of a family it's always felt I've always felt like we have received more than we have yeah. given to you guys yeah. like we have, you know put out these videos but you guys are the ones that are just just so kind and just building us up it's just been amazing to see yeah. like we've gone through some hard things and yeah. you guys have been there each step of the way praying for us and encouraging yeah. us and cheering us on and for so, over five years now like that's yeah. crazy i just i i'm so grateful yeah and uh so uh i think that's about it for the update though today yeah okay. i think so yeah, yeah. But I love you guys so much. And, we do. Uh, we hope you're doing really well, too. If you guys yeah. have anything, like any prayer requests, um, you guys, you could comment it or you could reach out to us on Instagram or Facebook. Yeah. Um, usually Instagram, I think, is the easiest one yeah. to get a hold of us um, for, but I know, or email us. But uh, we would love to be able to pray for you guys as well um, and the way that you guys have also been praying for us. So yeah. thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, and we'll see you guys in our next video. See ya. Bye.